Engineer 775 with Black Gold Part 2. What are we doing now? Well, we've added a few cool features to our centrifuge. We added uh, a shell and tube heat exchanger made out of copper so we can take hot water and heat the oil, the stored oil, to a point where the viscosity is, is uh, much lower and it'll spin out a lot cleaner. We've added a little solar direct drive uh, water pump. It's running off a little 20 watt panel, moving the hot water through the shell and tube. We've also added a P-trap to make sure any of the vapors from the hot oil do not escape into the uh, clean oil bucket. They stay in the centrifuge and actually are evacuated out the bad side, uh, the sludge side. So we're about to run a test, but uh, let me show you where we're, our source of heat. Um, pardon a shaky video here. Come out to our throwaway parts. I got some flat plate heat exchangers that were uh, given to me. There was three of these I have. The gentleman was redoing his roof on his house and didn't want to mess with these anymore, but they worked great. And then a water heater that was being thrown away. So. Out here we're thermosiphoning. There'll be a diagram of this, and we're heating, we're heating uh, water up to crazy temperatures. It's a very cloudy day today, so it, it's not really cranking. It was yesterday. So anyway, um, this is free heat. There's no pumps. We're just thermosiphoning up to this tank, and then using the little solar pump to take the hot water off the top of that tank and run it to our shell and tube. So pretty much off the grid water heating, heating lots of water using the thermal siphoning process, one of my favorites. So let's spin some oil. All right, centrifuge is running, and now we're gonna start introducing the nice hot, hot oil in here. Dump a bunch in, get them tight, and then back off. Keep the flow rate low, we're not in a hurry. There it's swinging in there, that's good. But nothing's coming out the, the key trap yet. Yeah, this is the good sign. Key trap keeps the gases back up in the centrifuge. So first run we now we gotta dump a bunch in here. Okay, I'm going to back that off when I start seeing oil and so take the filling tube still nice and hot. Alright, there comes our oil. I'm going to back off on that so we've got good oil. I don't know if you can see it flowing in there. Stop spilling it would be even better. All right, I'm gonna. It's probably pretty fast. You want to slow it down? Slow this thing down a bit. Obviously, the reaction time is quite delayed. But, uh, so the hot oil. You know, we're not getting our vapors like we did. The P trap's definitely working. We were getting a crazy amount of vapors coming out of, out of this before. The P trap has stopped that, and we're, we got a pretty good slow flow rate. And that should be nice and clean. Taking that hot oil in through the centrifuge, out to my Volkswagen, wherever we want to run it. That's working good. So we're just doing batch runs right now, small batches. Just the five gallons at a time, really about four gallons at a time. And trying to figure out, we'll probably, now that we know, we'll just mark the spot on that ball valve where we like to run and let it go. Like just slow it down just a little bit more. And we'll just mark that spot, and that's where we'll run from here on out. So. Let's get a 
nice and hot still. So this should make a very good product. Alright, that's black gold part two. Using hot water, thermal siphon, solar pump, heat traps. What else do we do? I think that's about it. And uh, raised up our bucket a little. Made a few modifications to make a better fuel. Engineer 775 sign out. Oh, and I do, I'll do a shout out to Steve. Again, Steve uh, testing the designer, the engineer that built this. Uh, signed it. Came over for a visit. Handmade by Stephen B. Chastain. So we got one of the first centrifuges here that he hand built, cast it, machined, and uh, built this for this purpose. Pulls pretty good vacuum on it, so you know, centrifuge is working awesome. Okay. All right, we're coming to the end of the run here. Centrifuge is working just like it's supposed to. You see that here? This is the dirty bucket. So this is the heat trap is working good. It's on the good side. It's swimming on the side. And this is pulling vacuum right here through, through the storage line. And that's what's causing the bubbles in the, in the dirty tank. All right, we're about ready to stop. I'm going to pull a plug on this. And uh, let it wind down. And again, once you hit a certain speed, for the oil that's inside the centrifuge wall will start to, the wall will start to collapse and then the blood will come out the drain hole. Hope that makes sense. The drain hole's right there. The center of the centrifuge down inside. So it has to stop spinning before it can drain by gravity through those that waste tube. So we've made another really nice batch of oil using hot water. Yeah, the shelling tube is still nice and toasty. And it should drop down here. We start, should start seeing some oil come out in the sludge tube here shortly. It spins so fast, it takes a while for it to drop. But you'll see it here in a bit. Don't believe me. Hang in there. Right about now, I guess. No, I was wrong again. That's impressive. There she comes. <laughs> I was way off. Okay. So we're getting the bad stuff to come in the in the bucket, which we could spin again and actually get some really good um, motor fuel out of that. We're coming to the end of our run. You see the centrifuge sucking air. Because we put the P-trap in here, now we have a closed system. So it's 